Hello, land investors and outdoor enthusiasts. This is Josh with U.S. Rec Land. We have another property coming down the pike here. We are in Alpena, Michigan this time. Uh, we also have another property that's actually right next door to this property. So if you'd like to buy both for a double lot, uh, we're happy to make a bundle package and help you save a couple bucks if you want both side by side. Uh, but first, please subscribe to usrecland.com if you haven't already. That way you'll be notified of any subscriber-exclusive discounts, bundle packages, uh, flash sales, uh, and maybe just uh, any new lots that are coming down the pike. And then also please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click that notification bell. That way you're automatically notified of new video review listings just like this one. Everybody seems to like the video review because there's a little more nuance uh, to help you make a decision on if a property is right for you. Okay. Um, also, feel free in the comments. Let us know if you have questions about the lots. Uh, again, there's two side by side here uh, or just a question in general. Or if you have an area that's somewhere close to here that you're looking for lots, we can obviously consider that in future acquisitions uh, if there's enough um, folks looking in those general areas. And then also please like and also share with friends or family. Maybe you're not interested, but maybe you know someone who might be. We offer a $50 referral fee once we close on a property with your referral. So that's our way of saying thanks for referring us. All right, guys, let's jump into it. All right, this particular property, again, we're in Alpena, uh, Michigan, and that is Maple Ridge Township. So if you're performing due diligence for yourself, trying to see if it checks all your boxes for what you'd like to do, uh, you might want to start with Maple Ridge Township first and then let them direct you to Alpena for any information that you're looking for that's not housed there. The other, whatever's left, will be at Alpena County. So I would always start at the township level and move up. That way you can get as much as possible from there on the ground floor. And then you just move up as they force you to, uh, to get other information if it's not housed. And when you call, just refer to this parcel number. That's your assessor's parcel number of record that they have at the county. It is a 0.24 acre lot. And I believe the other property is 0.24 or 0.26. So you'd be looking at just under a half acre if you want to buy both. Uh, of course, we can uh, try to make it worth your while and uh, save a few bucks if you want to buy both. And here's our, your Google Maps, Google Satellite XY coordinates. You just copy paste that and put it in Google Maps on your mobile phone. And you can have turn by turn directions to the front of the lot if you'd like to go look. Or if you just want to put it in Google Maps and look around, look around remotely yourself, no problem. It's residentially zoned, 31 bucks a year is your annual taxes, no wetlands, no flood zone, nothing to worry about there. So let's go ahead and take a look at some pictures, then we'll jump on Google Maps and uh, Google Earth. So there's the front, you've got paved access with some trees here, and I would keep as many of the trees as possible to keep nature. So we own, we have for sale this lot, excuse me. So we have both lots right here and right here for sale. And you have homes in the area. So you got power, uh, and I believe this is paved access, uh, but you have legal and physical access to the front of your property right off Lake Winyer Road. And I'm not sure if there is a township water and sewer or some city water and sewer. I'm guessing you're going to be looking at well and septic. Uh, but feel free to call uh, to verify what's available because even if they have it in the area, it doesn't mean it's immediately available uh, relative to the location of the lot, okay? Again, that's part of normal due diligence for de undeveloped raw vacant land. And then uh, let's see. Let's go and take a look. So again, we own the lot here and the lot here right next door. So two right next to this home right here zoom out you can see you just got woods around you i believe there's some four-wheeler trails back here too so if you i don't know if they don't care if you trespass or if someone who owns it lives in the area uh, but it looks like there's four-wheeler trails so um, maybe ask around you might be able to get permission to ride on someone's property uh, but surrounded by woods so you're not gonna have a bunch of folks around and here's lake winya and you've got this uh inlet going out there's alpena county regional airport alpena sportsman club a lot of stuff to do around here and then you got alpena downtown 
There's Meyer, Walmart Super Center. And let's see what else. Uh, Alpena County Plaza Pool. And then uh, let's see what else we have. Mangoes Tequila Bar, Red Brick Tap and Barrel, JJ's Steak and Pizza, Holiday Inn, Great Lakes Marine Heritage Center, Thunder Bay River comes out right here. So you've got these places right on the river going out uh, to Lake Huron. And then you've got, uh, here's a charter, uh, Bayview Park, Bahama Breeze Tanning. you got a bunch of areas here right on the water as well. Pompeo's Mexican Grill, again, right on the water. Alpena Power Storage. And just to give you an idea, Alpena is nestled right back in here. This little um, inlet here, this is Thunder Bay off of Lake Huron. So you can see Lake Huron. So you're in northern Michigan. This is what I would call northern wilderness, small town living, basically. Uh, but you've got a number of uh, inland lakes, um, water, plus Lake Huron, Great Lakes, are world-renowned fishing, walleye, uh, lake trout, uh, smallmouth, perch. Um, uh, I believe they have muskie. Uh, in Northern Pike in the Great Lakes, which tend to get pretty big, obviously in a bigger body of water. Um, and then you've just, obviously, this is a great little place because you could just build a small cabin here and have it be your home base, even though, you know, you're not in the wilderness, but you're you're surrounded by woods and you have access to paved roads and amenities and, and power and things, and then just get up and hit the road to your favorite fishing spot or hunting area to the north, south, east, to west of here. And then that could just be your home base. Um, or maybe you're looking for a vacation home. Um, obviously, there's all kinds of outdoor activities with the water, the lakes, fishing, kayaking, uh, hiking, mountain biking, obviously not on the mountains uh, per se, uh, but a lot of things to do there. The restaurants downtown, um, down in Alpena uh, at the waterfront, there's beaches as well. And there's also a number of golf courses in the area too. Uh, but if you have a plane or you have access uh, or fly your own plane, the airport's right here. You can fly in anytime. So um, let's go ahead and take a look here and back out. You can see Lake Huron for you out of towner. So we're not too far from the Canadian border to the north here. So you can see Northern Michigan, uh, and the Great Lakes area in the north, the Midwest and the north, they're all well renowned for the fall colors and things. So uh, just want to take a look at that there. And then we'll go to Google Earth and kind of take a look at that. You can see Lake Winya to the north. And this kind of gives you a little bit more nuance with topography. You can see. You can see there's two lots right here. the lake the inland lake anyway and then that's to your north basically oh yeah we gotta turn around there you go Sorry about the bubbles, guys. That's what that, you can't get rid of those, unfortunately. But you can see there's Thunder Bay. That's Lake Huron, downtown Alpena. Campers Cove, RV Park, and uh, Canoe Library. So, uh, like I said, kayaking, canoeing. Uh, you got a lot of water things going on here. But you can see the lake there, the Great Lake. And, oh, it looks like uh, there, there's a lot of lighthouses, too. I know some people are very into lighthouses and maybe some of the history. There's a lot of cool things. Uh, Besser Museum for Northern Michigan. So there's some historical things. If you just wanted to go into town on a rainy day, uh, fishing isn't any good or you don't want to be out in the rain, but you don't want to sit in the house, go down and take a look in the town, grab a bite to eat and see what there is to offer, right? All right, guys. So. 
This particular property, we're asking fifty-seven nine. We're asking fifty-seven nine uh, for the other one, so fifty-eight hundred bucks for each. And again, if you want to buy both, we'll take a look at that and see if we can't help you out. Maybe waive a dock fee or something. Uh, but there is a one-time document fee, um, typically to purchase a lot, um, to make sure we're not dealing with tire kickers and people that want to waste time for weeks on end, only to tell us they're not buying it or never talk to us again. So we do not put anything under contract until you've demonstrated a financial commitment. Uh, unfortunately, that's the new rule because of people that have messed around and wasted time and put the property under contract. And then we missed out on selling it to a serious buyer. So running a business, you can appreciate, we don't do that any longer. We don't put it under contract until the financial commitment is demonstrated, then it's bound, bound to contract. Um, if you don't like that, um, you're, we're probably not the place to buy from. All right. So this is, uh, again, Alpena, Michigan, Maple Ridge Township. Again, if you're going to call and get some answers uh, direct from the horse's mouth, I encourage you to just refer to your parcel number. That's the exact parcel of reference right there. And then it's a 0.24 acre lot. And then if you want to take a look, feel free to drive by uh, that. Those are your Google Maps XY coordinates at the center. That'll give you turn by turn directions right to the front of the property. Taxes, $3,100 a year. All right, guys. So uh, please subscribe to the website, usrecland.com for future offerings, any discounts, bundles, flash sales, et cetera. Then also please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click that notification bell. That way you're automatically notified of new video reviews just like this one. And then also please comment if you have any questions about the lot or if you're looking uh, for uh, vacant land somewhere in vicinity. Uh, we, we obviously will uh, consider that and look at that for future acquisitions of property if we know um, a number, a significant number of folks are looking in a similar area. We'll keep that in consideration on our acquisitions end. Uh, and then please like and share with somebody that you think might be interested and share the videos and help us reach more people to help them realize um, land ownership and realizing their, maybe it's their dream vacation or retirement property. Uh, and, and maybe it's a legacy play and they want to keep it in the family uh, for generations. All right. Okay, guys. Well, until next time, happy land hunting.